covers a lot that we already know about Rett syndrome. It's a neurodevelopmental condition that is typically found in females. It's usually due to a mutation or pathogenic variant in the MECP2 gene on the X chromosome. GGC was actually one of the first labs to offer MECP2 testing for Rett syndrome. We know that Rett syndrome is not usually inherited in a family. Girls usually start with pretty typical early development or only some minor delays, but then around age two, they can lose some of the skills they have gained. Like hand use or language, they regress. They can also develop repetitive hand movements and other behavioral or medical issues like breath holding or seizures. Then, after this period of regression, there is some stabilization, but many girls with Rett syndrome have major difficulties communicating and challenges using their hands or even walking. The Greenwood Genetic Center is very honored to be a center of excellence for Rett syndrome. We became involved with Rett syndrome research almost 14 years ago and with our involvement with the Rett syndrome natural history study. This has led to uh, many publications uh, which have been helpful both for researchers and for families. We've continued to grow our involvement with the Rett syndrome and very fortunate to receive a, a clinical fellowship training grant for Dr. Carrie Buchanan and our Greenville office. And that has led to uh, expansion to a multidisciplinary clinic at the Shriners Clinic in Greenville, South Carolina. We, our diagnostic lab has also been very involved with uh, diagnostic testing for, for individuals with Rett syndrome or suspected Rett syndrome and been very pleased that we're able to provide diagnostic testing for families not just at our site but across the country that uh, sometimes have uh, difficulty getting testing done due to uh, uh, insurance or financial reasons. Right now I have a grant from rettsyndrome.org that is allowing me to focus on learning more about some of the behavioral issues in Rett syndrome. I'm particularly interested in looking at anxiety. I'm also excited that clinical tri trials are continuing in Rett syndrome. GGC was a site for the successful phase two trifinitide trial, and we are looking forward to participating as more treatments continue to make progress. We're also very excited now that we are moving into a um, uh, research, uh, a basic science research component to our Rett syndrome program here. Uh, our new director of research, Dr. Rich Steet, uh, has brought a zebrafish model to, to Greenwood uh, campus and we are exploring the possibility of developing a, Rett, uh, a zebrafish Rett syndrome model that help for uh, translational research and potential drug discovery uh, for potential clinical trials in the future. So we're excited about the continued uh, growth and commitment uh, uh, of our program to, to Rett syndrome and to the patients and families with Rett syndrome that we're very fortunate to, to be involved with.